if you've just upgraded to one of the new iPhone 17 or iPhone Air models and you're a Canadian, you're going to be facing something new that you've never experienced before on an iPhone. We are now eSIM only. And different can always be just a tiny bit scary, but do not worry. It is very simple to get your eSIM working on your brand new iPhone. You'll be prompted to set up your eSIM when you actually take the phone out of the box and power it on for the first time. But in case you didn't do that or skip that step for whatever reason, I'll show you how to launch this from the settings on your home screen. So keep your original iPhone with the physical SIM card in it nearby and then tap settings on your new phone. Scroll down and look for cellular and tap on that. Once you're in this area, you should get an automatic prompt asking if you want to transfer your phone number from your old phone. So tap transfer number and then tap transfer number again on your new phone. Then you'll be prompted to go to your old phone to make some confirmations. Go ahead and tap on the confirmations and then use the double click to confirm button to transfer your SIM information to your eSIM on your new phone. Then you just sit back and wait for the magic to happen. You'll see activating, then connecting to network. And then after about a minute, you should be connected now with your new eSIM on your new iPhone. That should do the trick and you should be set up with an eSIM on your new iPhone 17, 17 Pro or iPhone Air. So why did Apple do this in the first place? This is something that's been going on in other countries for a very long time. And overall, it's a means of convenience when you're switching to devices. There's also an advantage to if you do a lot of traveling between countries, because you could store up to eight eSIMs on your iPhone and just turn them on and off as needed while you're traveling. The other practical example is that physical eSIM tray doesn't take up that much space in your iPhone, but by removing it, even that little bit of space that's gained actually allows iPhone to install a larger battery, giving you like two hours more battery life on your new phone. Hopefully you found this video helpful. For more tech tips and info, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about the new iPhone lineup or your eSIM setup, please let me know in the comment section.